All right, so gonna get these two batteries wired up today, get it connected to the inverter. This way we can have power full time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Gonna get the air conditioner installed over there, maybe today, but this is today's priority. And so these are 1,755 cold cranking amps above 32 degrees, which equates to about 244 amp hours-ish. So we're just gonna call these 240 amp hour batteries. These are lead acid batteries, so we will uh, be maintenance these on the regular. We will be checking the water levels and using distilled water to top off as needed. So I'm dumb. You know, that's 24 volts. This is called a 6548. So that means I need 48 volts with the battery at minimum for it to recognize the batteries. I'm sitting here wondering, why is it not picking up the batteries? It was actually reading voltage from the batteries, but it won't charge them until it has 48 actual volts worth of battery to charge. Um, and not only that, I can only hook one of the strings up or one series at the moment, because once you go uh, two, uh, two strings, you have to have batteries in place. So I was starting to plug in like the refrigerator and stuff and it was cutting off. I was like, what is going on? And then uh, I'm going through the manual and sure enough, da -da -da, I'm making the cables. It's four on, four gauge cable for the, to connect the batteries in series. <clears throat> I'm trying to get this done a little quickly. I'm running out of uh, battery time over here. I'm using small desktop battery backups as temporary power on site at night because, well, the battery bank's not up. But that won't be a problem here soon. It's gonna give me a proper clamp, cramper, crimper one day. So then, this right here works pretty good. It ain't pretty, but it's not going anywhere. All right, so you got all four batteries hooked up. They are in series. So you'll notice that the leads, this one here and this one here is not tied down, but that's okay for the moment. Um, we're just testing it out. Let's go ahead and flip on the DC brick for the first time. Look at that. It's the first time it is operated on battery power. Come tomorrow, will be the first day that this thing can run 24 hours on its own solar and battery backup. And then the AC will go in and we'll never have to turn it off again. Oh, look at that. Inverter's working, we're pulling battery power. It's actually powering everything else because one of the small batteries died and the power went off. Just goes to show it's all working.